So I want to talk about something that happened this weekend. I know it's Tuesday. Sometimes I like to ruminate on things all day Monday so that on Tuesday you, you hear about it. Um, so uh, this weekend I went to Dallas uh, for the Cowboys game. And uh, yeah, so uh, thanks. And um, it may not seem like a big deal for a celebrity to attend a football game, but uh, I never leave my house, so it is a big deal. I, I go through the drive through at Wendy's, so I only have to see one person. I'm that kind of person. So there were 100,000 people in this stadium, beautiful stadium, by the way, that Dallas has. Um, so Portia and I were invited by Charlotte Jones. She's the daughter of Jerry Jones, who owns the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, we went because we wanted to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> um, So anyway, so we get to sit in this very fancy suite because, you know, he owns the, the whole place. So his suite is, is fancy, and he's got fancy friends. And I don't mean fancy like real housewife fancy. I mean like fancy. Look, this is, I took a video of who, who was next to me. That was Portia, and that was Charlotte Jones. Uh, Portia was talking to, and George W. Bush, and then in front of us was the tallest man in the world. <laughs> and, um, so I've got to say, uh, when we were invited, uh, I was, you know, I was aware that it, I was going to be surrounded with people from very different views and beliefs. And I'm not talking about politics. I was rooting for the Packers, and uh, get this, everybody in the Cowboys suite was rooting for the Cowboys. <laughs> and so I had to hide my cheese hat in Porsche's purse. And um, don't get me wrong, I, I, I like the Cowboys. I love the Cowboys. I love all the village people, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> But, but Aaron Rodgers is a friend of mine. He's the quarterback for the Packers. And so uh, I'm sitting in the, in the Cowboys suite, the owner of the Cowboys, and secretly cheering every time the Packers scored or every time another whistleblower came forward. And uh, <laughs> the referees, you guys, the referees. Um, but during the game, they showed a shot of George and me laughing together. And uh, so... People were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. And, um, <laughs> but a lot of people were mad, and they did what people do when they're mad. They tweet. And, uh, but here's one tweet that I loved. This uh, person says, Ellen and George Bush together makes me have faith in America again. And, um, exactly. Here's the thing. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay that we're all different. For instance, I wish people wouldn't wear fur. I don't like it, but, but I'm friends with people who wear fur. And I, I'm friends with people who are furry, as a matter of fact. I have <laughs> friends who should tweeze more. And I, I have... But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Doesn't matter. Um, I, I, even people who are already playing Christmas music. I mean, seriously. <laughs> There's no excuse for that, but I'm kind to them. Anyway, I want to thank Jerry Jones, Charlotte Jones, for hosting us, and thanks President Bush and Laura for a Sunday afternoon that was so fun. By the way, you owe me $6 for the nachos. And <laughs>